Rod in this particular painting here, and it's a feature in a range of your works and subjects, this panorama, the left to right, and the involvement of a significant foreground, a sort of finite focus mid, mid ground, and then a lot of energy in sky. How much planning would there be in a composition like this? Enormous. I think that the biggest challenge for this one was probably uh, that over a panorama like this, though there's a fair bit of sky, you'd normally accept a bit of distortion perhaps at the edges or something dissipating. So proportions and, and uh, scale were important here. Uh, that's why I, thought, I felt like this was a great stage. Sometimes it might be covered in water and have the refracting, but the same busy elements in the foreground you just capture your attention and then you've got the little elements of these characters throughout and there's little stories going on so in, in a panorama it's almost as if in the word pan you can pan across and find little stories happening here and there and i think that's important then under the great canopy i think that's the that's the overarching now the idea of this picture in the panorama is that it accepted the foreground and had a great scope of the sky. Nice bit of theatre. I thought this was a great image from a theatrical stage setting kind of point of view. You could place these elements here and there. Plus you've got the, the, the element of the disappearing landscape in the background. Uh, as I said, the great sky. But you've got this enormous amount of detail on the right and left hand side here. But I think it's the action, these footprints, the places, the, the paths, the traces of where people have been during the day or through the wood. And so you deliberately place the figures in a composition pattern or arrangement? Yeah, yeah, I think that, that, that's, that was probably the most difficult element of it, really, once you start putting uh, one or two figures in, uh, that really starts to affect the balances. So there's a lot of physics going on and drafting and so on. So these, these were carefully stage managed so that I could get the best effect, so slightly offset it to this one, but that act as a fulcrum, those sort of things. Uh, and then I can just relax in the lushness of the pastel and enjoy the colour and these lovely harmonies that I was able to get there too. This is just such a natural response to Merriweather or the local landscape, so it uh, wasn't, wasn't a big call but really just managing all these various elements and pulling them together is probably the, the biggest challenge.